My name is Mwaga Chijuke Henry Achumba, majoring in the sculpture. It's common knowledge that waste is an eyesore to the environment. This waste includes scrap materials, discarded junk, and plastic pollutants. In a country like Nigeria, where waste or trash is inescapable, there is one person tackling this environmental menace in a transformative way. He is turning worthless scraps to priceless sculptures. My name is uh, Chijuke Mwaga. Henry Achumba, not in any particular order. I studied fine art, major, uh, majoring in uh, sculpture at Abofomi Awolowo University. My first and second degree was at the same university, but I majored in sculpture. I studied the um, fiber material. I was a major material when I finished from it. Uh, it was a, a rainy material at that time. I also tried my hands in ceramics, mold sculptures, because that was where my thesis was on mold sculpture and terracotta. But even if I knew I was not going to continue with that, I knew I was going to major basically and uh, fiber materials and, and, and wood. So when I, when I finished, when I graduated uh, with my second degree, I had to move to Lagos. Move to Lagos. I moved to Lagos. I established a studio in Suriname. And there was a, a little problem with the landlord and I had to move to, to and, uh, this area, this house is Mambo. So with my friends, so that was where I was doing my fiber works. My first five years was majorly on fiber works until I met my friends who finished from uh, Aochi Poli. They were majorly metal sculptures. They didn't do, they didn't do fiber. So, and they had patronage more than myself. Regardless of how good the quality of my work, uh, people in Lagos seem as if they don't regard it. So over time, I said, I said to myself, why would I be wasting my time building, making works down, people don't buy, but I have to do something about it. So one day, Engineer Shino came to our studio. He was a major patronage of my friend, Luke. Then he asked Luke and said, ah, this is your friend that does a fiber. Well, he does only fiber, he doesn't do metal. Then he encouraged me to try my hands on metal, and which I did which came out well. That was how my journey in, in the metal started. And then one day we were looking through the internet and we saw how they were using the found objects, discarded objects, metal objects to, to do sculptures. I said, ah, then we said, ah, we can do this. What's stopping us from doing this? We can start this. So that's how we started with the bolts, nuts, jungs, washers, and cool too. Like, oh, that was how we started. Plastic pollutants, scrap metal, and other waste don't only create an eyesore on the streets, but also endanger the community. Chijoke Uwaga is helping to curb waste and solving environmental issues by recycling this waste and creating beautiful works of art. Uh, it, it helps to clean up the environment. It, ha it helps to to reduce filth, dirtiness in the in the in the, in the environment. We when we go to pick them up where they are, we wash them and then transform them, use them for artwork. It helps to clean the environment. It helps to the hygiene, to the uh, cleanliness and they improve the hygiene of the society. After discussing the advantages of the waste on the environment, Chijoke leads me on a short walk to where he gets his scrap materials. 
Waste, which is seen almost everywhere, has now become a treasured piece and these scrap materials are bought to create beautiful works of art. We normally go to our friends, the Bola boys. They normally have them, we patronize them. And over time we become friends, so they know what we want. So as, as we are coming, they know, they keep things for us. They know that this one is good for artwork, this one is good for artwork. So we patronize them, we get them from Bola. And then we also source from directly from markets, things we can get from Bola. To create a metal sculpture, there are some basic needs like electricity, workspace, finance, to mention a few. But one thing that does pose a constant challenge though is electricity. Chijoke opens up on challenges in his business. The challenges we face is uh, power. You know, we have to use power. We, there's no power. We have to use diesel. And you know how expensive it is release. That's my major problem. And it's difficult for you to get a space to work. And once you get a space to work, the local government are always there because they consider what we do as fields. They consider what we do as junk. So it becomes more difficult for us to operate freely. The local governments are always here, are here to disturb, to tell us to move to a decent place when they, we don't have any decent place created for us. These are my challenges. As simple as metal sculptures may be seen in the eyes, there are durations it takes to create these mesmerizing works of art. Chijoke reveals how long it takes him to make his metal work. It depends on the work. If it is complex, uh, it takes six weeks. But it depends on the size of the work, generally. So it's neither here nor there. If it is a small work, it takes you two weeks. If it is a medium work, it may take you a month. If it is something higher, it may take you six weeks. Sculptures are works of art which represent an artist's view. From an artist's perspective, sculptures are artworks, but from the view of others, sculptures could mean objects of worship or idols. Chijoke tells us more about his perception of some people about sculpture. For the, for the enlightened minds, it, it is well accepted. But for the religious inclined mind, the African religious inclined mind, it becomes a little bit uh, complex because they consider it as uh, idols and, and stuff like that. But to our enlightened mind, they see it as, as an artwork. They see it as an artwork, nothing traditional, nothing cultural, nothing religious about it. So for those of them who think we worship images because we produce this, I say, no, we don't, we don't. We just produce our work. We don't worship it. It is for aesthetics. It is for beauty. And we want to add value, beauty, aesthetic value to the environment. That's what it is. So people are accepting it. People are accepting good works, beautiful works. But it could be better if our religious brothers and sisters can see it as an artwork and nothing more. In achieving a good result on any kind of work, it is important to possess some qualities. These qualities help to yield good results in your work. Chijoke Unwoga shared some qualities one must have to succeed in metal sculpture. As a persistence, persist in what you're doing, hard work, I love what you're doing, and that's the key. Do not give up. It's beautiful today, awful the next day, no matter what it is. Keep keeping on, it's going to work out. Build your patronage over time. Be faithful, be disciplined, be trustworthy. Keep to time. Your clients will always stick with you. My name is Waga Chijoke Henry Achumba. Keep watching Boarding Stars on All News Nigeria.